I'm Jim Marsden from Gigglepin Racing and we're here today to have a look at our new race car. Back in 2020, we decided that it's time to sell Little Lady and she disappeared off to New Zealand just before COVID hit us. Well, it's taken us two young, long years to get the new car built, but here she is. This is Mistress. Now, you might be looking at it and thinking to yourself, why has Jim gone for a solid axle car when everyone else is going IFS? Well, we'll talk about that in a minute. But first of all, I just want to introduce you to this car. So this is a Miller Pro chassis. This is a solid axle Ultra 4 race car. It's packing an LS7, producing about 650 horsepower. It's got a four speed, four L80E gearbox in it, electronically controlled. It's using an Atlas two speed uh, transfer case. Axles, we're gone for spider tracks. What else would you use? Let's now talk about why we've gone this route. In a world where everybody else is going IFS and they want flappy chicken wings on the fronts of their cars, I wanted to do something different. I wanted to see what everybody else was doing out there. And the sad reality of it is, is that if we look at the bombers of Randy Slauson, if we look at the pro chassis of Eric Miller, they're always there near the front end of the pack. Most importantly, they're the most reliable cars on the track as well. When we're racing in Europe, reliability is everything. And if we can't keep four wheels on this car, then we're not gonna be on the podium. So that was the thought of it. But the killer deal for us was when I was chatting to Tom Kingston at Spider Tracks, and he said, Jimbo, we've got some new innovations. We've got some new ideas and some game-changing things. I had to look at that. So come on, let's check them out. These are the new Spider Tracks Pro Series axles and the absolute pure beef. If we look down here at the new joints, this has always been the weak link of the solid axle setup. So previously we were using Dana 60 style joints and they're usually either hard metal on hard metal or they were metal on bronze and they were the weak point. Look at the size of these joints now. Custom built in-house by Spider Tracks. They're using needle rollers so we don't get the same problems that we used to be associated to it. They've also borrowed technology from IFS. Look at these outer knuckles now with increased bearing heights at the top and the bottom. That means that we can actually put more load onto these axle, onto this hub assembly without getting that wheel flick associated so commonly with solid axle vehicles. We're now using our 45 spline outer, so we're not getting that twist or that snap off that we were experiencing with 35 spline and 40 spline. That means that these are gonna change the landscape of solid axle vehicles forever. And I'll be honest, I can't wait to get out there and try them. So these axles are pure beef. But let's have a look around at the rest of the car. Now this took a little bit of doing, but we've managed to wrestle a GP100 winch into the front of a Miller chassis here, and we're so pleased to do so. Obviously Gigglepin Winch is my company, and we're so proud to have this GP100 at the front. Sitting on top here, and on the top of the front of the car, it's laser lamps. We've been working with lasers since 2012, and their products just get better and better and better. The firepower on the front of this is just outrageous, and I'll really be honest, I can't wait for our first night stage. At the front, or sitting on the, all four corners of this vehicle, we've got the wonderful Maxxis Trepador tyres bolted to the race line wheels. Again, it's a combination that we've been using for so many years. They win races. People say to me, oh, why the Maxxis Trepador? Why not the Maxxis Trepador? They work in absolutely every kind of condition. I really re love this tyre. I can't rate them highly enough. When we move around, brakes we're using the exceptional Willwood aero calipers but we're using the ebc pads you might say well why are you doing that ebc again a partner we've had for so many years i trust their products i really like the way their products work in the wet and in the hot it's an absolute no-brainer for us but the one thing that we have got that's really cool and constant throughout the miller chassis is the fox suspension big shout out to the guys at fox these are absolutely monster really can't wait so we've got a three and a half inch five bypass rear with a two inch coil over on the rear then on the front we've got a two and a half inch four bypass shock absorber again with a two inch coil over these shock absorbers are going to make a massive difference to how this car performs out on track now let's talk about running gear. So we've got a CBM LS7, so that's a 440, producing about 650 because we're running on pump gas. And again, why are we running on pump gas? Well, because we're traveling into Europe, it's not so easy to get race fuels across the borders anymore or any of that. So we want to keep it nice and simple. So pump fuel it is for us, all is good. Transmission, it's a 4L80E. So it's a four speed automatic transmission, electronically controlled. And we also have that as a sequential shift, which we'll have a look at in the cab in a bit. The transfer case is an Atlas two-speed, uh, and that's absolutely bulletproof, something that we've loved for years and years. 
Now, powering all of this, we've got the fantastic Odyssey batteries. Odyssey, thank you so much. They're back on the program again for another year, and we're so proud to be working with them. Those little boxes of magic, they sit down under the floors there, and they power this whole thing, making it absolutely awesome. If we have a quick look inside the car, we try to keep things real simple. So we're using a PDM-based control, so power distribution modules. We haven't got any fuses, any relays anywhere. We're using the Holly EFI um, ECU, which is CAN bus controlled to the Holly EFI dashboard, and then, of course, using the Blink keypads. Okay, let's get around to the back end of this beast. And underneath here is another Spider Tracks work of art. Come on down, have a look. Just check this out. This is the four and a half inch Pro Series Spider Tracks housing. All the trussing is done by Miller Motorsports. And just look at this. This is FK rod ends in here. And we've got FK rod ends all the way through this vehicle. Got to say a massive shout out to them. They've been a huge supporter of ours for a number of years now. But also in this dirt axle driving it, we've got a tube works cross tie differential or a third if you're sitting out there in America. Now we've gone a bit brave and gone for a high pinion. Let's see how that pans out. But I really believe in the technology that the guys and girls are using there over there at TubeWorks. And I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that this could be a game changer for us. For brakes, we're using the awesome Willwood Aero 6s. So they're a six pot caliper and we've got those mated up with the EBC Blue Series brake pads. I love those EBC blues, but these brakes are another level. We've got a third more pad contact than we had with our previous six piston setup. That's just awesome. Now, when we first got this car, it literally arrived in this country as a box of tubes, all laser cut ready for assembly. But that's okay, because I've got some great friends, and James Aaron and Mike Brown at Blackbird Industries, I've got to say a massive thank you to them. We got this up on the jig table, and we literally sat there, and it was like a jigsaw puzzle, just putting one tube onto the next tube onto the next tube. A few phone calls to Eric Miller back in the States, and boom, look at this. I am so pleased with this car. The way it's turned out is absolutely epic. Bad Penny will always be the first lady in my life, but this will always be my mistress.